Earlier this week, Microsoft finally opened up Xbox Live and announced that they would allow it to connect to other online networks, such as Steam, PSN and Nintendo Network, to allow for full cross-platform play. People were hoping, of course, that Sony and Nintendo would reciprocate and that we would hopefully get a true gamers network sometime soon. However, it now seems like Sony are not so interested in allowing PSN and Xbox Live to connect. Speaking to Eurogamer, Sony Worldwide Studios Shuhei Yoshida appeared uncommitted to the idea. Because PC is an open platform, it's much more straightforward, Yoshida said. Connecting two different closed networks is much more complicated, so we have to work with developers and publishers to understand what it is they are trying to accomplish. We also have to look at the technical aspect, and the technical aspect could be the easiest. We also have to look at policy issues and business issues as well. It sounds like Sony are not that interested in this, which is definitely not a good look for them, especially since even a company as historically regressive with its online approach as Nintendo has been allowing its network to connect to other networks since 2013. After what seemed like a rather interminable wait for the announcement of DLC for Fallout 4, Bethesda has indeed laid out what we can expect with this content, at least in some broad strokes. Since announcing this new DLC, Todd Howard has been explaining just how the ideas for the new content has come about. Howard has also been explaining just what you can do in this new DLC. The famous director sat down with Game Informer recently and explained the Wasteland Workshop and the Automatron DLC. The one thing we've found about DLC is that we've done all types at all price points and all sizes, and we've come to the realization that it all works. It all sells really well. We went into Fallout 4 and decided to do all types at all price points. With this initial run, we want to have a little bit of everything, Howard told the website. He also explained what the point of Automatron content is by comparing it to another well-known game. The first one, Automatron, has a little quest line and this Pokemon-esque kill robots get their parts build your own gameplay. The robot building is really deep, it's great. Howard explained that the Wasteland Workshop might not be for everyone. This content will indeed appeal more to Fallout 4 players that love to build and create. While Nintendo seems like it's poised to finally announce the NX in the near future, the company is either working on new concepts or leaving its options open for future updates. A NeoGAF user was able to come across some patent filings that look as though they are for some expected features for the new console. If these patent filings are actually going to come to fruition, it appears the NX is going to have some features that might be reminiscent of Microsoft's Kinect. Just how smart that move is, is anyone's guess, considering that Microsoft came up with the tech first and has since almost abandoned the device. The NeoGAF user Disorienter was the one who appears to have pulled the salient details from that filing, and the new tech appears to have both gesture recognition software as well as some kind of distance measuring capabilities. The filing includes an infrared camera and GPS tracking. It's entirely possible that this tech is going to be used for something other than Kinect, like Reasons. But when we're talking about video game consoles, being able to play games with their bodies seems like the most likely reason for the filing. Even if you doubt Square Enix's claims that Final Fantasy XV, in development since its initial announcement as Final Fantasy Versus XIII for the PS3, will be out this year, there appear to be rumors to substantiate the same. According to the sources that spoke to Gamatsu, Final Fantasy XV will be out on September 30th. This information was further confirmed by the three independent sources, which were deemed reliable, so take that for what you will. Square Enix has already confirmed release date information for an event taking place on March 30th. As of now, it's important to take this with a grain of salt, since delays can and do usually happen. If you like what we're doing, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. See you soon!